Looks pretty good. It does Spidey. look really tasty. Yeah, you you have heartburn. We all I have do. heartburn. Right. We're just talking about it, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you just take a, a Prilosec or something. Yeah, yeah. Tums sure. afterwards. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks lovely behind it, yeah. us on it the does. cameras. Yes. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, this is some of the perfect weather for some folks out there because it's finally starting to feel like the autumn season as the first round of fall rains once again return to the Pacific Northwest. A beautiful rainy gray live look out over downtown Portland on this. Wednesday evening temperatures holding steady into the mid 60s at this point in time as those raindrops continue to fall overhead and the winds out of the south southwest at about eight miles per hour as we prepare for our final sunset in the seven o'clock hour tonight. Unfortunately, not able to see it because of the widespread cloud coverage and those active rain showers that continue to push their way through our area. But those low to mid 60s found anywhere from the coast to the high terrain of the Cascades. That, folks, is nearly a 30 degree temperature drop compared to to our high of 94 just this time yesterday. So a big shock to the system here across much of the Pacific Northwest, but finally starting to feel like the autumn season as the rain showers are a welcome sight. Those yellows and oranges and even some reds, a good indication of the heaviest of rain that is currently falling through the Willamette Valley. As we zoom into the Portland, Vancouver metro area, you can see that some of the heaviest rounds of rain really kind of pushing their way further off towards the east and starting to exit Washington County. A live look though out towards Mount Hood. That's that's where we're picking up on just a light little dusting of snow all above about 5,800 feet. And this is going to be a very short window of opportunity to see those winter like snowflakes falling once again for this evening into the early morning hours tomorrow before it retreats back up above 7,000 feet. Our skies dry out and we start to warm things back up again. This time out with our future cast. There you go. The clearing conditions for the rest of tonight. That's going to allow for the very minimal amount of heat that we've built up in the atmosphere to escape once again back out into space. So cooling temperatures with the added moisture does mean that patchy fog is a very real possibility for the start of the day tomorrow. Mixes out by the mid morning hours as we return that sunshine and we prepare for our next potential chance of rain that comes through our area early Friday morning morning before we start to see those drier skies once again return. Our forecast of rain accumulation in addition to what we've already picked up on close to about 10th to a quarter of an inch for the I-5 corridor and much of our coastal spots. Now we've got that hurricane spinning over the Gulf of Mexico right now, potentially turning into a category four storm. It's really going to be impacting the weather system across the country, stabilizing everything thanks to the Omega blocking pattern that's starting to take shape. And that means that the high heat we experienced yesterday now over the Rocky Mountain states and the Great Plains as we prepare for slightly drier conditions, but also mild temperatures to stabilize over the next several days. It's going to be a rinse and repeat scenario with the dry conditions and also those temperatures hovering right in the sweet spot of where they should be for this time of year at 74 degrees. There you go. The next three days. That's what's in store. Cooler on Sunday before we warm things back up again Monday and Tuesday and then cool once more. Tonight here in the city, seeing those clouds start to decrease and that's going to allow for some patchy fog to start to develop 53 degrees. That's where we are intending to wake up for the start of the day tomorrow, along with reduced visibility for the I-5 corridor, dropping back to about a half mile in some locations before that sunshine once again takes over our skies. That's where we will end up into the mid 70s by the afternoon and evening hours. Now keep a close eye to the eastern sky. This news coming in from OMSI, where we could potentially see Comet C-2023 A-3. Yeah, it's a mouthful. You'll look to the eastern sky this weekend where you could potentially see the comet without a telescope. So get your cameras at the ready, although Sunday morning is going to be the best time and it occurs right before sunrise at about six o'clock or so. And our seven day forecast does show those breakdown of the cloud coverage for Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, despite the cooler temperatures with highs struggling to hit 70. A lot more sunshine and mild temperatures for the start of next week. Wait, wait so what's going to happen on Sunday morning? The so Sunday morning we yeah. could potentially see a comet. <gasps> oh, oh I, yes. spaced it, I spaced out. You no spaced pun out. intended. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what was he talking about? Yeah. So, so Sunday comet. morning, get okay. away from the city lights. You have the chance to potentially huh. see a comet okay. in the eastern sky. All right. Sounds good. Good Fun information. Stuff. Thanks, right. Josh. Well, Clatsop Beaches reopening to razor clam harvesting on October 1st.